Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for stopping by today for a pickups video here on the channel. We're gonna look at some great cards that I have added to my collection, some singles uh, that I've hunted down over the past couple of months. And we're gonna have some baseball cards, uh, one soccer card and a non-sport card or two. And then uh, we'll go back and finish with baseball again at the end. Um, these all kind of fit a theme, which is why I put them together here of greats whether that is greats of their sport or of the hobby or of their movie franchise in one case. Um, so I think they all kind of go together. And at the end, we're going to see some villains, uh, cards of kind of the bad guys as well. So let's start with uh, some baseball, as I promised, and the two cards that you've been looking at in the background there, uh, cards that are very important to my personal hobby experience. Uh, 1990 Tops was the first set that I collected as a kid, uh, as a seven-year-old that spring opening those packs, and it established my love of the hobby. And of course, with Nolan Ryan having that five-card run to begin the checklist, uh, his base card, and then four of these 5,000 strikeout subset cards, uh, all of those are just super important to me. And so I've really collected them quite a bit uh, in my time back in the hobby as an adult now over the years. Uh, I've built a PSA-graded you know, base run, which you see here. Um, I think last year, the year before, actually finished an autographed uh, PSA DNA authenticated autograph run of those Nolan Ryan cards. And I guess it was, uh, you know, it, it made sense that I came to this eventually. I don't know why I didn't pursue it sooner, but one of the things that I've gotten into thanks to a couple of hobby pals, especially uh, in recent years, are the Topps Tiffany cards. And I had this one. I've shown this on the channel before. This is card number one on the 1990 Topps, or in this case, 1990 Topps Tiffany checklist, probably my favorite Nolan Ryan card and maybe my favorite modern card, just for my own personal reasons, as I mentioned. Um, but I've had this one a while and I never pursued the other four cards, the 5,000 strikeout uh, subset cards in Tiffany format. And uh, I had a save search for them over this past winter. And at one point, all four of them surfaced in matching PSA 9 grades uh, at open auction with low starting bids and uh, I was able to actually win all four. So check this out. Got the New York Mets, card number two. My favorite of the bunch. I love that pitching pose. And uh, these are, I know they're like really loud and colorful, but I, I really, really dig this insert set. Um, and shout out to my friends, uh, Adam at Vintage Sanctuary, and also Sammy at SFI Sports Cards uh, here on YouTube, who are two of the channels that have gotten me to appreciate these cards even more. Uh, here's a nice one, card number three with the Angels. Really cool. I love that these are all in matching nine uh, PSA slabs. I know that doesn't matter to everybody, but um, that's definitely the case for the base run that I have. They're all PSA nines, and so happy to have these in PSA format as well. Card number four with the Astros. And then we close it out with the tip of the cap. Card number five, the final Nolan Ryan card in that five-card run to kick off my favorite set, uh, the set that started it all for me. And uh, I'm really happy that I can cross the Tiffany run off this kind of super collection, I guess, that I have of uh, 1990 Nolan Ryan uh, tops related cards. Um, so pretty cool to finally get that done. And with, uh, I guess, maybe it being the off-season and the fact that these were auctioned, not buy it now, uh, I did really well, and I added all four of those uh, for a price point that came to under $100 total. Um, so if you average that out, obviously I paid under $25 a card uh, on average for those Tiffany's uh, already PSA graded. And given that Ryan is a big name uh, in the hobby, a giant of the hobby, I was really, really happy with that. All right, I have the one soccer card here. Uh, this is a favorite player of mine and one of the best ever to play, Leo Messi of Argentina, and now of Miami in the uh, Major League Soccer here in the United States. And this is the Tops Now card of his uh, him creating the first goal of the 2024 MLS season opener for Miami. So Messi, uh, after having played for uh, the Argentina national team, which he won a World Cup with a couple of years back now, finally got his World Cup. And then various uh, European squads, top flight European squads uh, across his career, finally took his talents to South Beach, a la LeBron James, uh, for during last uh, season, actually. 
and we finally get some cards. So I bought two of these Tops now. I think I paid about $4 a piece. I did not buy these from Tops. Uh, I just got them from a reseller on eBay, but I uh, wanted to make sure to capture Messi in this late stage uh, of his really, really legendary career. And I uh, love the, the prominent pink uniform there. There's a couple of other Messies I'm trying to get uh, from MLS products where he's with Miami, but uh, so far people are really paying up for those cards and uh, I'm just not willing to pay the amount of money that it would take to uh, to land those. I'll keep my eyes open, but in the meantime, uh, happy to have a couple of those tops nows as a placeholder, if nothing else. And then let's get to the villains uh, portion of the video to close it out. Uh, the latter half here with some bad guys. We're going to start with uh, the ultimate movie villain uh, and the favorite movie franchise of my youth, uh, Star Wars, Darth Vader. So the lighting, these are in uh, baggies here, so this is probably going to be a little bit rough. Let me take this out to see if it helps at all. Um, but I've shown these recently, uh, completed the trio of uh, Darth Vader Star Wars High Tech Gold number to 50 uh, that came out between 2015 and 2017. Got all three cards, the 2015, the 2016 here, and then uh, recently showed the 2017, which was a card that it took me uh, almost two years uh, to finally track down and acquire. So uh, always looking to add some kind of uh, budget-friendly uh, Darth Vader cards to the collection. And recently, I landed a pair of these. And let me take these out of their bags as well so we can get the best possible look at them. These are Topps Finest Gold Refractors. So just like they make, you know, cards for other sports, uh, hockeys in the 90s, and uh, or hockey sets, I should say, in the 90s, and baseball um, starting in the 90s and right up to current day, they've done some uh, Topps Finest Star Wars sets as well and uh, got this pair from 2022 of Darth Vader. So check this out. Great image here. These are numbered to 50. You can see in the upper left, great shine. Uh, and there's just something, you know, Darth Vader is like the most iconic uh, Star Wars character. I think he does the best among Star Wars collectors as far as value and demand uh, for his cards. So the opportunity to get two of these uh, in a matching PSA 9 with gold refractors being as popular as they are uh, was just great. And uh, shout out to my buddy Jason at Contrarian Cards who made me appreciate this even more. Uh, this 2022 Finest set, they have great backgrounds on the images. So not only do we have a really cool shot of Darth Vader here, but ominously in uh, refractive foil in the background, we have the Emperor just kind of lurking there. Uh, which really, when you once you notice that, it's hard to unsee it and it really adds to the appeal uh, of the card having kind of the ultimate two bad guys. Uh, in the photo. And then ditto for the other one that I picked up. Uh, he has two cards at least. There may be others. I think these are the only two uh, on the checklist. And I got the other one from the same seller uh, at the same time, also in a matching nine, which just like my Nolan Ryan's at the beginning of the video, satisfies my OCD. And once again, a great image here. And we also have the Emperor lurking in the background, the refractive background there. And uh, I love the contrast between the dark you know, Vader outfit and cape against that gold. And again, just a timeless, very popular refractor in the gold refractor number to 50. And two solid additions there to my little collection of uh, the ultimate movie villain of my youth. Um, I certainly don't have a Star Wars or Darth Vader collection to, to hold up against some people out there, but uh, try to selectively just grab one or two uh, when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, and speaking of that, I have uh, two baseball cards here to close it out. Uh, this is not someone I really search out often. I, I wish I did have more cards of this individual, uh, and that is Barry Bonds, Evil Barry. So I picked up this one recently. Check this out from Topps Heritage, uh, a mid-2000s Topps Heritage set, I think 2006. Uh, this is the Chrome Parallel, as you can plainly see. It has that great like stippling effect in the background there. And uh, this is not a refractor or anything. It's just the chrome parallel, but these are numbered. And of course, being in the 1957 Topps design, they are numbered to 1957 as well. And this was just a cheap pickup. Um, this I, I ran across it kind of by accident looking for, you know, another item. And uh, this was $5 with free shipping. And at that price, I just thought, you know what, it was a great card to add to my collection. I'll get this one uh, top loaded and in an, into a nice uh, superior fit sleeve after we're done with the video here. So we'll put Barry up in the background. 
And then I have a second Bonds card. Uh, this one I got maybe five or six months back now when I was on a kick of getting a few Relic cards of the all-time greats. Um, I don't collect a ton of Relics, but I've shown a few recently. I got one from my buddy Dan, a Roy Campanella Relic. Uh, I've got a Babe Ruth bat and some other greats of the game. I want to have just one Relic card of theirs. And I found this Barry Bonds. This was again at open auction from Upper Deck Sweet Spot piece of uh, his bat, just like my Babe Ruth bat card. This will go great with that. Love the design here with like the, it looks really like the material that a baseball is made out of. And you've got the stitching. You can kind of see the texture there, pardon the light, but see the uh, texture that I'm referring to. It's just a really cool card. And uh, I believe on the back, if we take a look, does have the correct language that I look for, which is, you know, that this is an authentic piece of a bat used by Barry in a major league baseball game. And uh, this was under $10. And I was really, really surprised by that. I know there are some people that don't collect Barry, and I know relics aren't for everybody, but really pleased with that. And that is a solid addition to the, I guess, villain portion of my collection alongside those great Darth Vader cards. So that's all I have for today. We're going to cut it off. I, I try to keep these shorter if I can. Um, just wanted to show off these pickups of all time greats and villains, respectively. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoyed a few of the cards that you saw. And uh, as you know, I'll be back very soon with some more content. Till then, keep on enjoying the hobby, everybody. See ya.